Hi guys, Lou here. Welcome back to Acorn Hill and welcome back to my backyard. I wanted to put in a few planting projects and a few things that I need to get either in the landscape or in pots. I'm about to spend the weekend doing uh, continuing education. It's a requirement for my job for the weekend so I won't be in the garden for Saturday and Sunday. It's Friday around 2.30 in the afternoon. I wanted to just put this in. It is Friday here in Central North Carolina. What you are looking right now is the centerpiece of what used to be my problematic area. The problematic area here uh, used to be very waterlogged and what I did was I built raised garden beds and the raised garden beds right now are very prolific. I will give you a different video uh, tour of this area but from the screen you can see that I have my vegetable uh, raised beds. I also have a few foxgloves growing to the right in the center and uh, along this will be the end of the long axis leading into uh, what I call my vegetable patch my uh, allotment area if you will I have a DIY uh, plant or a platform where on top of it I have um, an antique urn that, that we got oh, close to 20 years ago when we were doing antiquing back then when we were um, new homeowners to the left of it you will see well before that uh, the plinth and the urn uh, this is made of cast iron and they are flanked by two arborvita and the arborvita are the ones that pretty much frames that area uh, I also like um, the fact that I could, that have a borrowed view from my neighbor. There's a lot of greenery during the spring and summer and it just makes a, a, a really good matted uh, different hues of green along the back. Um, to the left of this shot you can see this glaucous bluish gray green um, artichoke. It's, um, it's actually a cardoon, a member of the artichoke family. Today, uh, what I'd like to do is put in what I've grown from seeds, which are nasturtiums. Nasturtiums are summer annuals. These are good herbs to have for salads. And uh, they do have these nice flat leaves to them that I thought when they trail down from the, from the urn, it will make for uh, a good spiller uh, element to um, our centerpiece right on top of that plinth and that's what it looks like uh, at the moment with with salvias growing inside and daylily that I got uh, a year ago that has now acclimated itself inside that urn and so what we'll do is we'll surround uh, those plantings the salvia and uh, and the daylily with uh, how many do I have here I got one two there's three in this pot and there's about five in this individual pot right here. Another three in this bigger pot. So that's a total, or actually one, two, three, four, five again. And we're really gonna pack that thing uh, with a lot of these nasturtiums. Since you can imagine if these grow, then you have these oval uh, plateaued uh, um, structured leaves that will trail uh, right on the side of the pot. So it's pretty straightforward. I want to show you what I do um, if I have a couple of hours of free time here in the garden and um, show you what they look like in the next segment. Alrighty guys, so we are right by the urn. I wanted to show you uh, what's really growing inside this urn right now. This is that salvia that I told you earlier. Uh, I like the color of the salvia. It is a deep indigo purple type mix. Along the side of it is another salvia which I really don't remember what color this will be, but we'll see how it goes through the uh, growing season. Um, inside and on top of this urn, you'll see this black uh, tubing that I have. This black tubing is for, uh, definitely for um, irrigation. Uh, I have live water uh, that I've run through the entire garden and uh, every once in a while and throughout the planting spots, I would be um, putting down uh, a few of these and attaching these uh, black tubing or brown tubing so we can have automatic watering um, for all our plants. And so the idea today is just to dig a hole down here and, and randomly right around the perimeter.
right along the perimeter of this pot and so it's pretty straightforward yet again um today i lately i've been doing videos one hand camera in tow and then the other with either my spade or my um little trowel here so all i do is create a small hole where usually i would put plantain or any um, slow release fertilizer I think I already have a few osmocote that's already inside and within the soil and so this probably could hold this little hole would be able to hold two seedlings um, plants that I've grown from seed by the way like any gardener this is the reality for all of us check out all my weeds my gosh all these weeds I have to take out um, in North Carolina as the heat really beats uh, the garden. Weeds love them, and so that's why I have all of them right now. But you know what I do? I just I just leave them be sometimes. You know, here's me liking texture and color. Well, they certainly add height right now, <laughs> texture and color into the garden. So I guess in a way we can share our garden with them as well. Um, not gonna be, get too bogged down by by the weeds this season, but check this out again I mean I always like these unusually shaped leaves and these leaves are just going to sway and move and give movement when the breeze passes by I have a separate a separate um, little container of garden soil just plain old garden soil that I thought I could use for filling in the pot um, just shaking off some of that excess dirt and grabbing. It's really hard when uh, I only have one hand, but we'll do our best. You get the idea. And so we're just gonna take them out. Look at all of that mat, matted roots. That's what I call a definite success when it comes to growing them. I also like that there's still the individual seed pod um, from when I first grew um, the seeds. These, by the way, are probably five week old plants. And so I, I gotta put them in now. You have to be quick in putting them in so they don't dry out because these feed the roots. Do not like to be dry when it comes to growing them and planting them nicely tucked in there pretty shallowly but I'm, I'm gonna add more dirt and get them tucked in and right, you can see as it trails down they'll naturally drape and find their way down the side of that urn <laughs> 